What is metadata and how to attach it to your music files? You've probably heard a lot about metadata. Metadata is hidden data in computer files that tag a file with certain identifying information. For example, you may have heard the word used in discussions in the media about metadata associated with digital recordings of phone conversations. Metadata formats are different for different types of files. This video is about music file metadata. Having the correct metadata associated with your music files is extremely important these days. Metadata is the critical information about your music that anyone in the music business needs to know. You need to let them know not just the obvious things like the artist and song name, but who the copyright holders are and your contact info. If you don't include metadata in your song file and just send out untagged songs, people who want to use your music will have no idea who you are, how to reach you, or how you want the song to be identified, and you may be missing a lot of opportunities. If your music gets licensed without all proper identifying information, you will probably not receive all the possible streams of income available today. After you have created an electronic file of your music, there are many ways you can attach the metadata. One simple way is to open the file in iTunes, select it, and hit Command-I on a Mac. This will bring up the MP3 information box, allowing you to type in the metadata. Enter your information in the comment fields. Make sure you include the song name, contact email, phone number, and who owns the master and publishing for the song. You can put, I own 200% or one stop, which lets the person listening to your music know who controls what in terms of rights to the song so they can contact you to license the track. Here's what you should list. Song name. Make sure the title is clear and you don't have any extras like Song Title Alt Mix Master 2. You may have labeled your song that way to make it easy for you to know which version it is, but it's not good when sending it out to someone. Two things to note. If you have a featured artist on the track, they should be included in the song name. And if a song is a cover, be sure to list the original artist in the song name. For example, Hey Jude, the Beatles cover. Artist. Artist or band who performs the song. If you perform it, then add your name. Album. If the song is a single, you can add it in this field or leave it blank. Composer. Be sure to list all the songwriter's full names, PRO affiliation, ASCAP, BMI, or CSAC, and splits. And it's not a bad idea to list the CAE IPI numbers too, if you have it handy. Ownership. List the companies clearing the master and publishing sides and their splits, if applicable. If you control the song completely, you would list one stop. Genre. It's a good idea to list it, but not required. You can choose a genre from iTunes drop-down list or enter your own genre. This is good if it's multi-genre. Comments. It's super important that you list the contact info for licensing here. You can also list the song description and mood, which helps a music supervisor find your song if they're doing a search for a specific type of song, i.e. melancholy, ballad, female vocals, etc. You can also add artwork and lyrics as metadata if you want to. Here are some examples of correct metadata tagging for one-stop song, multiple songwriters, and publisher's song, and a cover song. Another way of doing this on Windows is to find the MP3 file you want to add metadata to, right-click on the MP3 file on your computer, click Properties, and go to Details. There, you should fill in everything you can. The fields that need to be filled are pretty much the same as the iTunes example. Thank you for watching. Let us know in the comments how you are attaching metadata to your MP3s, and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more from us.